What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, we're going over the 729 maintenance and event notice to let you guys know what's coming to Grand Cross this week. And with this week guys, we do have the Thor Festival coming to Global Man. So this is going to be dropping on the Monday night, Tuesday morning. They clarify here as well that it's going to be uh, 729, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. PDT. So for me, that's around like 11 p.m. Eastern. So give or take, you know, for you guys, it might be a little bit different. Um, but yeah, I mean, you obviously convert uh, the 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, for your time zone from PDT. So let's actually hop in here, guys, and go over the patch notes for what we got. Um, so we have the update preview shortcut here so we can see all the things right there but we'll just scroll through and, and talk about all the things in the update anyway so we have the ragnarok godlike festival it's going to be the ragnarok godlike festival draw the 4.5 anniversary special thank you draw the diamond and draw ticket gifts for the uh, uh two check-in events and in the ragnarok special uh boss battle the ragnarok special spin event the hammer of justice god of thunder thor new unit we have the new Ragnarok chapter as well, and then the new context for the books of chapter 1. Now, uh, let's move it on uh, to the actual unit itself, guys. I've done a Should You Summon already on Thor. Now, if you want my, like, TLDR pretty much, man, if you're an unknown main and you already summoned for Sobnok, man, you kind of got to summon for Thor. I feel like those two on the same team are really, really strong together. Um, so, it's hard to say, like, you get one or the other, I would say, at that point. Just get them both. But for the most majority of players, like, if you don't really care about the unknown team like that, then you don't need this character, in my opinion, man. You can actually skip out and uh yeah you wouldn't really need a summon but yeah that's kind of just the tldr though if you want to see the full video definitely check out the full should you summon um but yeah let's just move on guys and continue on with the update so we have the ragnarok godlike festival draw um they have not announced the actual banner yet for global in terms of like who's featured on it but it's gonna be the same featured lineup as jp if you guys want to see more information on that again check out the full video for my should you summon um because it has all that already uh you know kind of talked about all right, so let's move on past that. We have the Ragnarok Chapter 8 Odin's Command open. So this chapter is going to be available starting on the update. And you're also going to be able to get the 30 gems from the end of Chapter 7, guys. And then there also is some chapter opens for the Grimnir's book, meaning we're going to be able to get a little bit more gems from that as well. So definitely a uh, major W with that. Now moving on from that, we got the costumes here for Thor. They look pretty good. I think, I think honestly, this one or her default are probably her best. But it's really up to you if you're going to be buying outfits for her or not. Um, but feel free if you guys do want. And they will be available for gems after the uh, after the purchase period pretty much. So yeah, uh, individual costume purchase period will be after the 13th. So that's when you're going to be able to uh, just buy it for gems if you want, right? So yeah, that's going to be uh, the way that works. Now moving on from that, guys, we have the uh, Transcendent Demonic Beast. So the fourth floor of the bird so this is going to be added and i'll definitely have a guide out explaining pretty much all the mechanics guys for floor four uh probably after the update yeah i'll probably wait till after the update to do it but pretty much though the floor four of the bird it's a lot more difficult than the original run of the bird um it's pretty much this like new stage where you have a few mechanics you're not able to bring gauge fill you know characters like lr liz and stuff so they definitely like kind of you know tailored it away from being the more like easy free to uh free to play like pve type content nowadays um but it is a lot more difficult than than it was uh you know than the other content right now in the game I, i'd say it's around the difficulty of ratatoska right now um but i'll still say like floor three rat is probably still more difficult than than this fight right here but it, it's still a fairly difficult fight um yeah so pretty much the way it works is going to be after you clear floor three you will have access to floor four and you can re-enter the stage with a wind source but that will reset weekly with the weekly reset so pretty much the way it's going to work is that if you get to floor four you can reset um uh or no no you can uh reset the run pretty much after you've beaten it because you can pretty much infinitely grind it right um but on the weekly reset it's going to reset you back to floor one and you have to go all the way up back to floor three to be able to attempt the the fight again so you'll eat instead of using another wind source on that uh thing you can you know reattempt uh after the uh, after the uh you know after you get there and and the reset so yeah moving on from that um, these are the materials that are going to be dropping from it as well. The uh, bird's orb and then the bird's feathers. And those are going to be from the floor four of the bird. And then, uh, yeah, you're uh, you're going to be getting the holy relic enhancements. Um, and yeah, that's going to be pretty much what you uh, what you get for that. 
Now moving on from that guys, the uh, bonus that Thor is actually providing for the team is going to be the bad blood effect, which is going to increase heroes critical damage by 30% and allies basic stats by 10%. So she's going to be getting a major buff to her own damage and the team's basic stats is going to be free 10% just by using her. So they're definitely saying that this is a character you want to be using on, on the fight. And uh, yeah, if you're someone that's trying to grind out this new mode, I you know would highly advise probably getting one copy of this character uh, to be able to attempt that though guys so uh bear that in mind all right so moving on from that we have the addition of the new title and changes to the existing titles uh so demonic beast destroyer pretty much from the trial of courage will be changed to a hidden title uh so if you don't have it you won't be able to see it and you can check in the title list so pretty much you're just changing the one from the proof of courage pretty much which was like that really difficult you know event we had in the past um yeah in terms of the actual like holy relic enhancement system guys this is what it's going to cost in terms to be able to uh enhance a holy relic and it looks like we're going to have multiple levels of this it looks like unfortunately but uh yeah i mean this is another growth thing for people that if they want to get you know uh growth for uh stats in the game you're going to be able to do it and you can pretty much do any character that has a holy relic can get this uh increase to their stats it's just whoever you want to choose at that point um yeah so yeah, this is going to be the required materials for level 1 of the Enhanced Holy Relic. Yeah, so they even mentioned level 1. So they're most likely going to have future levels in, in the future. And uh, yeah, I mean, I hope it's not too egregious. But they'll probably do like a Floor 4, Deer, Skull and Hottie. And you guys kind of get the gist. They're probably just going to do more of those. Um, so I don't think it's like super uh, bad. But I mean, it, at least it gives you another reason to to grind out those Demonic Beasts if you've already done them, right? So yeah, I, d I definitely see the reason why they did it. Um, yeah. Moving on, guys, we got the Book of Heroes Chapter 1 unlocked. So this is going to be a way where we're able to get some more uh, some more tickets for the free banner. Um, we're going to be able to get some gems and all that uh, and some SSR pendants and stuff. So, yeah, definitely a really good uh, part right here for the Book of Heroes. And uh, this will be available uh, starting from the day the update drops, and it'll go for seven days. So you'll have these seven days where you're able to do all the missions. And then from the seven days on after you've logged in, you'll just be able to do them whenever they're available. Um, which is going to be pretty much the entire time. I think they, I think they might change starting on the end of August, I think. Uh, JP had a more clarified explanation of it, but, uh, yeah, that is going to be something that is available. Uh, yeah. Alright, so yeah, these are what the rewards are going to look like here, guys. Oh, sorry, so no gems, sorry. But you do have SSR pendants, you do have SA coins, you do have the tickets. So yeah, I mean, regardless, though, it's still a fairly, like, uh, good lineup here. And these tickets are definitely nice, too, because the free banner is pretty strong, guys. Um, I don't know if they show the free banner in these patch notes, but they do have a free Freya in it. They do have a free blue Magelda. I know there are a bunch of commandments and, and seven licensed characters, so not the end, uh, end of the world if you do pull any of those other characters, you know. It should be fairly solid for your account all right so we have the uh, 70 s 4.5 anniversary celebration uh this is going to be the set bonus is going to be if there uh if there's a surviving ally with the god characteristic allies basic stats are increased by m percent and damage dealt to enemies is increased by x percent so that's obviously going to scale up uh depending on uh, how many god characters this are alive on the team uh so there's that and then uh, for the new holy relic effect guys this is going to be for hell increase of the hero's crit chance and crit damage by 10 percent for each source of pain on the enemy up to 50 percent and in addition every time the undying shepherd is removed from the hero they recover 30 percent of their maximum hp which is going to be a really big uh you know boost right there in terms of just being able to you know boost her damage and also her healing so yeah this holy relic though is from the rat so bear that in mind all right so uh yeah we can move on from this uh, we just got the packs here, guys. We can kind of scroll past the packs. I don't think they're super important right here. Um, we do have these special check-ins. So this is going to be the 200 uh, diamond uh, uh, check-in event, right? Um, so that's going to be available. And then we do also have the uh, ticket uh, you know, check-in event right here. So you're going to be able to get the free tickets from this. And then you can use it on the uh, free banner, which they still have not shown here yet, guys. But they have the, the banner available. Maybe I'll like pull up the JP one and I'll show you guys the banner. But from what I remember, though, it wasn't like super crazy. It was just, you know, you get the free Freya, you get the free Blue Magelda. And then there was a bunch of like commandment characters on the banner. So nothing super crazy with that. Um, but yeah, we do have these special missions where you are able to get a free multi for the banner. So that was definitely really nice. And then moving on from now, we have the Echo of the Gods here, which is just going to be all these like little uh, blessing events right here. So nothing super crazy with that. And then we have another uh, spin event here for the uh, Godlike Festival. And uh, yeah, you do get two of the card packs for the card set that we mentioned earlier. And then a bunch of other normal rewards that are available as well. So yeah, and then uh, yeah, we do have the special boss event as well, guys, being with the uh, double giants. 
um you are able to get five gems from this as well the other card uh card set and then you also do get the uh, other uh cards for the set as well um and then there is a free brun Philadelphia from before that they rerun before um but yeah i mean definitely get it if you don't have it already right um yeah and then the uh, Ragnarok chapter clear event, this is going to be 20 gems in total. Definitely really nice to just get. And if you've already cleared the chapters, you just automatically get the rewards, guys. So that was really nice. And then we do also have the Season 8 of Heroes Arena. And this, unfortunately, is shortened to 5 weeks now for Heroes Arena, guys. And not 6 like it was before. I think that definitely is an L in terms of, you know, them changing it. Uh, but I guess that does mean we get Labyrinth quicker in, in a sense. So, you know, if you are not really doing well on Heroes Arena, they'll give you like 50 LR coins from a Labyrinth. So if we get it a week early, I don't think it's, uh, you know, super game changing. The main thing that's that kind of sucks about it is you don't really get the gems from, from that six week because we're missing out on extra gems. So that's kind of the main thing that sucks about it. But yeah, they are changing it. Uh, Thor is going to be the boost unit for this uh, season as well. I think they mentioned it here. Yep. Uh, so she's going to be a boost unit for about a month. And then, uh, yeah, and then uh, moving on from that, uh, these are just going to be the exchange shop. You're going to be able to get up to 100 LR coins if available. We do have the special grand uh, reward dungeon as well, which just gets you like the SSR materials with the bird mats, which I think is pretty solid. And then you have the diamond uh, perks event for spending up to 900 gems on the banner. You do get the uh, SSR outfit for Thor, guys, which, you know, they pretty much always like uh, done this now with pretty much every UR festival at this point, right? Uh, so, yeah. And then we have another uh, King Exchange event, which is pretty solid. Uh, nothing super crazy with that. We have some power-up events for times two uh, auto clear tickets from Patrol, which is really good. And then a bunch of just like you know times two uh, uh, player rank, you know main and free stage stamina discount, uh, equipment, equipment salvage hero uh, enhance rate up. Just a ton of like you know uh, miscellaneous buffs for for the account during that uh, event period. So definitely we'll take that. And then we do have the lucky bag event here, guys, where you're able to possibly get 25 gems. Uh, if you do purchase it, you can get all six tickets, but usually um, you're only able to get three tickets. So you just got to be kind of lucky with the 25 gems there. Uh, so hopefully you guys do get that. And then we do have the uh, paid outfit for Sobnak here. Uh, it is a pretty nice cut in for it uh, from for if you guys have not seen it already. Um, it is definitely pretty nice. But the, the main thing that kind of sucks about it is that this can only be purchased. Right, which definitely sucks. They, they're making it only paid only, uh, which is not really too great. And then in terms of the Hawk Pass here, guys, we are getting a free wild outfit. Uh, not a really desirable one. I'd probably say Percival and Arthur's are still more worth right now. Um, but that is available. And uh, yeah, we just have the battle events here. Just some miscellaneous updates with, uh, you know, the uh, uh, Guild Wars and all that. Um, but yeah, I mean, that pretty much covers all the changes, though, guys, in terms of the update and all that. Um, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below of the update. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video, man. Peace out. And have a great rest of your day, guys. See you later, man.